Let's create a correlation matrix in Excel, which is actually a really easy thing to do. So in this example, we're gonna be looking at stock returns. So we've really got five stocks and then what they returned on every single day. And then we just want to see some indication of what is the correlation between these variables. So we can start off by going to the data tab. Then if you look over all the way over on the right, if you do not see a box with analysis at the bottom like this has outlined here, you can right click here, hit customize the ribbon, go to add-ins, then where it says manage, make sure you're on Excel add-ins and then hit go. And then we'll see this option analysis tool pack. Let's check that and hit okay. So now this data analysis option pops up. We'll click on that and then we'll hit this option correlation and hit okay. So we have this input range that we need to select. So let's click in there. And then I'm gonna start off where my first variable actually is. And then I'll hit Control Shift right arrow on my keyboard to grab all the columns with all my variables. And then to make sure that I have all the data, I'll hit Control Shift down arrow. And now I have got every single row of data for more than 4,000 rows. Now, because I had labels in the first row of my selection, I'm gonna hit labels in the first row. And now we can either output onto this sheet or we can output onto another sheet. So if I hit here, I could select a cell on this sheet and then output into that, or I'm, I can just create a new worksheet. I'm gonna name it matrix and then I'll hit okay. So there we go, our matrix pops up but you can see that a lot of these are blank. So we can fix that. First, I'll talk really quickly about what we're seeing here. So the correlation between SPY, this stock and itself would just be one because the data is moving perfectly linearly together. Now we have this one, BND and SPY. We can see that this one has a slightly negative correlation. So that means the data shows that as one of them's generally rising, the other one might fall in the same uh, pair of data on the same date, right? And then we see this one, GLD with SPY is 0 0.039, so it's very barely positively correlated. So we have all these values. Let's fill out the rest of this matrix by filling in the blanks. We can do that by hitting Control C, and then we'll paste here with Transpose. So I right clicked, now I'm hitting Transpose. Now I'm going to change this so we'll get rid of these little borders here, so no borders. Then we can come back up here, hit Control C, and then that's to copy, I'll click this cell, and then I will right click, paste special, and then we'll skip the blanks. So now we filled in the rest of our uh, matrix here. And so the reason that that works is because, see this right here was the correlation between SPY and BND, but this right here is also the correlation between SPY and BND, so it makes sense that these two values should match. And then we did that for all the other ones. So now we can create almost a heat map where we'll see how much each variable is correlated with each other just based on a quick look. So I'm gonna grab all these values and then I'll go to conditional formatting, and then I will go to the new rule option here, and then I will change this format style to a three color scale. Let's change all of these three to number. And then for when it's the most negatively correlated, we can change this to negative one. When there's no correlation, really it'll be zero. And then the maximum amount of correlation we can change to one. That's the most positively perfectly correlated. One variable could be with another. And then let's change this middle one to just having uh, no color. So we'll go from red all the way to green. And now we can see where the observations are really highly correlated with each other versus having very little correlation or no correlation at all or negative correlation based on the extent to which they're shaded in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more content just like it.